I've already filled the right side of Kristen's lips with Restylane Refine. And as you can see, it's just a nicer contour there. It's a little bit bigger here and it's a little bit bigger there. I'm using Restylane Refine because it's a little thicker product and I think her lips can, can take that. Uh, if you have very delicate small lips, then you need a, a finer product like Restylane Silk but this product will work great in her lips. It will look very natural, it will feel natural, and it will move natural. There are literally a thousand ways to inject lips, so I have to analyze what I'm trying to accomplish when I do the injection. The, the, the beauty of the lips comes from the proportions. The size of the lower lip is supposed to be one and a half times the size of the upper lip. You want to have a very nice white roll. You want to have a nice cupid's bow. These are called the filtral columns. You want to have them prominent. She naturally has all of those, so I don't want to ruin that. I don't want to distort that. I just want to give her volume where she needs it. And I see most of the volume she needs is in the middle of the lip here. So I'm going to enter into the meat of the lip. And as you can see, immediately I'm filling forward. I always use 31 gauge needles in the lips because it's uh, uh, less painful and much easier to be precise because I think there's no area in the body to inject that you need more precision than the lips. Every millimeter counts in the lips. So I'm trying to be very, very precise and I can accomplish that with the 31 gauge needle. In her, I'm going right into the body of the lip. In some women, I might do the, I might line the uh, white roll first. Like I said, there's no one way that I do every lip. Now I'm gonna give her a little bit more volume in the lower lip to match the upper lip which gives you a little bit more volume here and here, a little less volume in the middle. This matches the volume of the upper lip. So now we're gonna to look together, because I think it's very important to always look with the patient and see the view that they see in the mirror, because that's what's most important. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Any more volume in the middle? I think I could do a drop more, you know, a drop more right there maybe, mm -hmm. just a drop. Mm -hmm. 